Derek, it's your 100th game this weekend. How does that sound to you? Uh, you know, it uh, makes me feel a little old. I got a little grays, and more grays than I did 100 games ago. But, you know, it's awesome. It's awesome, you know. It's, uh, it's uh, something that I didn't think I would achieve. But it's here now. I'm excited to know we get to play a great team in front of a of our home fans. So. You said you, did, you, you didn't think you would achieve it. You were drafted in 2014 in the fourth round. Did you, did you have some sort of vision of what you thought your career would look like or how long you would play? Uh, honestly, any of that? Yeah, I just wanted to play so I could pay off my student loans. That's really <laughs> it. Like, I didn't really have any grand like visions. Of so when you think about little Derek back in 2014 as compared to now, how far have you come? What is your growth and kind of development been like? Uh, definitely much heavier. Definitely gained some weight. Um, I was like 250 when I first came. But that was on purpose, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I didn't, yeah. But uh, yeah, much heavier than just like kind of, you know, just kind of picked up stuff from different guys that were here, different coaches, and kind of all that knowledge and all that experience for, made me the player who I am today. So I just asked Dave um, about you and kind of what you bring to this team. And he says you're, you're a leader, you're a calming influence. When things are going poorly between guys or if there's fights, you kind of like step in. Is that accurate? Uh, like, yeah, you know, like, I just say, like, I've been here so long, I kind of seen it all. Right. So I've seen how got, like, you know, it's kind of different faces, but the same uh, situation. So I've seen things. So I like kind of bring my perspective to kind of, you know, if it's something like, a di like, just like, you know, guys just being pros about how they treat, take care of themselves or like how they approach the week, not knowing if they're going to play or not. Just like, I just kind of. You know, just be a shoulder to lean on and just like, just vent to me. I get, like, I'm gonna let you talk, you know? I'm gonna give you the, I'm gonna be, give you both sides of the argument and then, you know, just try to be someone li to listen. Right. You and I, we've sit on the back of the plane together and we've yeah. had some turbulence over the last yeah. few rides. Everyone is, there's people freaking out and you are just sitting there laughing yeah. at everything. You don't seem to get rattled easily. No, it's just like a couple of teammates used to freak out, turbulence. So like, it's kind of funny every time it happens. It's like, I know we're going to be fine. So it's just kind of like, just ride the wave and ride, well, I guess ride the air wave. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we'll be okay. <laughs> I love it. You just seem like you're always having a good time. How much are you enjoying this part of your career and just being a part of this team right now? A lot. Like I, like I feel we have a really special group. And you know, we got guys, like we, we know how good we can be. Hey, man, you're up. Everything you got today, man. It's just about realizing that potential and achieving everything we need to achieve. So it's just like that's the fun part about football for me. It's just like the progression of how we get to the end result, like all the work you got to put in in order to reach your goal. Like being part of, I was part of teams. We went to three straight great cups. We only won one of them, and just kind of like knowing how much work it takes to get there and how much we may not have. I think that third team wasn't the most talented of the three, but we just had just like, we had the battle scars and we knew like how much extra that needed to go in to win it. And I just feel this group has that potential to be one of those teams. So it's just, you know, putting the extra work and just getting there and just, you know, believing in each other, like, and just, you know, be willing to do the hard work. Your position, people wouldn't necessarily call it um, fancy. We're kind of in the trench yeah. trenches. Do you yeah. take pride in that? Yeah, like I feel like I'm a hardworking guy. That's kind of how I've made my bones to last this long. So it's just kind of, I don't need all the shine. Like I'm good as long as we win, as long as we're the team's successful. That's all that matters to me. I don't, I don't like, I don't really care about the stats and all that. I just want as long as we win and I could help contribute to that. That's the main thing for me. This is your seventh season. Is there anything kind of left on the football bucket list? You know, I'd like to get another ring. For sure, for sure, definitely another ring. Um, and definitely, you know, I want to, like, you know, every year you want to be better than the last. So that's kind of what pushes me. I want to be better than I was last year. I always want to be better than what I was the day before, so. Dave literally just said that you have gotten better every single season. So there you go. You are getting better every single season. So congrats on 100 games. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs>